Hello all. This is Alex from Doc365. I hope you are having a great day. Today we are going to show you how to rename add comments and copy paste actions in Power Automate flow. The templates let us create flows easily and you can automate a lot of repetitive activities using it. However, that doesn't give you the best convenient experience. You need to customize the flows a bit to make it easy to understand and work with it in the future too. You will not be the only one working on these flows if you are working as a team. In that case, it is essential to make these flows easily understandable for others too. That's where renaming the actions and adding comments to actions become important. The copy and paste option on the other hand let you clone actions and add them to different flow as required. It simply adds more convenience when you need to create a similar action by letting you copy the code. I will first show you how to rename actions so that others can easily understand what, the what is the purpose of those actions in your flows. So I am in my start page of the Power Automate platform right now. So to find my flows, I am going to the My Flows section over here in the left bar. Click on My Flows. So it will take you to all our flows. I just have one flow right here. Uh, this is created as part of the um, tutorial. So uh, this is my flow. So as you can see, this the purpose of this flow is to uh, let me know uh, when a file is deleted in one of my SharePoint site. I, I hope you know how to set up the flow. If you, if you are not aware, uh, I can create a different video about how to create this particular flow. So uh, first of all, you can rename this flow name uh, if you want. So right now, this is the default name. So if you wish to rename the flow, uh, just click on edit and here, in the title, you can click here and change the name easily. So let me change the flow name to when a file is deleted in. So this is what this uh, flow actually does. When a file is deleted in marketing updates document library, a particular folder, this let me know by sending an email. So uh, this is the trigger here. Uh, like uh, when a file is deleted in this particular SharePoint site, in this particular library in this particular folder, it will send me an email here. So this is the action. It will send an email to me uh, telling that this particular file is deleted. Uh, please review and confirm. So that's what this action does. So this is the name of this uh, particular action, send an email uh, bracket v2. So what you can do is click on the ellipsis here and rename this to send an email to Alex when a file is deleted. Asking to so by doing this, what you can expect is when some others, maybe someone else in your team um, access this flow and if they want to understand what's the purpose of each action, the title itself shows them the exact uh, purpose of the flow. So uh, that makes things very simple and easy to understand for people who are coming after you. So this makes it very easy to, very easy even if you are changing your project or even if you are leaving the company and someone else is replacing you and they will easily able to understand uh, the purpose or the functioning of the flows easily. Otherwise, it will be very difficult for them to understand uh, the flows and their functions and the uh, real intent behind these flows and actions. So uh, in this flow, this is actually a very simple flow I just created to let you know how to do these processes. It is when you are working with very complex flows, uh, this feature uh, will be uh, very useful and it is uh, at that point uh, 
this renaming action feature will uh, come come in handy for you. Uh, so let's uh, now see how to add comments to uh, these uh, uh, actions or uh, connectors. I have already added a comment to uh, the connector here. So this is the comment I have added. This is to ensure that no files in this folder are getting deleted without Alex's knowledge. So you can similarly add a comment to uh, this particular action too. So uh, along with uh, renaming the title, if you are adding a comment too, it will become more informative to uh, someone else who is seeing the flow. So for that, you need to click on the ellipsis uh, in the top right corner of the action and choose uh, edit note or add note. So in this option, I, have, I think I've already added a, a comment earlier. So uh, yeah, this is how it looks, add a short note. So you can add a description or uh, any, any comment you wish to add here. So I'm just adding a comment here, like uh, this flow is created in August 2021 and it is recommended not to make any changes to the flow until January 2022. So this is the comment I wish uh, anyone viewing this flow afterwards uh, should consider and see and uh, uh, take action according to that. So that's uh, the use of uh, comments and that's how you can add notes to these uh, actions or each step in this flow. So another option I wish to uh, see is how to copy a, a, an action or how to clone an action. For that, what you can do is uh, again, click on the ellipsis in the top right corner and choose copy to my clipboard. So while uh, when you do this, the act, this action or the code of this action will be copied to your clipboard. So after that, what you can do is uh, if you wish to add a similar step in this flow uh, with any other condition, you just need to click on the new step option and go to my clipboard option here. So as you can see, this is the code you just uh, copied. So by clicking it, you can actually uh, copy paste the same action here and make changes to it as required and use it. So this actually makes it easier for you to create or copy and create uh, similar actions in the same flow. So that uh, helps you save a lot of time. So that's uh, how you can uh, copy actions or copy paste the code of actions and create similar actions in the same flow. Or even uh, if you, I think if, if you can uh, copy the, copy this uh, action to the clipboard, you can even use it with a different flows. So uh, that's how it works. And after making all the changes, you can click on save and save this uh, flow. Hope you got a nice understanding about how to work with actions in a user-friendly manner uh, through this video. Uh, we will see with another interesting video soon. Have a good day ahead.